I'm Michael Barber and I play the part of Tommy. <laughs> I kill just about everybody I meet. Because <laughs> he is a despicable character, but um, I always like to sort of um, put a part of myself in there or, or a different part and I thought, hopefully some people think, oh, poor Tommy, you know, he's just misguided. That's the way he's brought up. He doesn't know any better. And then once you put on sort of like the prosthetics on your face and it's on your face for 18 hours of the day, you, you, you know, I like to become a character. I'm a character actor. Um, I like to be, I like to become Tommy. Um, I did become Tommy. <laughs> Very nice, Tommy. What you got there? Don't hide it. Don't hide it. His nipples are I like to suck on a teeth now and then. <laughs> I want to be just like my pop. You know, he wants to be like Dad. He wants to. He wants to fit in. You know, that's what I feel. You got the meat, boy? I sure have, man. Hey, hold it right there. What the hell have you been doing to that meat? I just had a little fun with it first. I told you, boy, don't you play with your food. Now, if you're going to fuck something, make sure it's still alive. <laughs> Bill's great. You know, they're all great, yeah. Um, you know, my dad, you know, that's good. Um, you know, hopefully I'll be joining him on the horror circuit on the signings. Don't leave the town for the city. It won't do you any good. No, sir. I don't want to change. I want to be like my pup. When I got home after the whole month of filming and being Tommy all the time and you've got to, you know, eat nipples and, you know, you're licking bits of flesh and bits of bone and that, which is horrible, you know, and... It's so realistic, you know, thanks to the prosthetics guy, you know, Sean and that. Um, it was repulsive, but you've got to play your character. And I remember the first night I got at home, I went to sleep and um, I had this terrible <laughs> dream. <laughs> some bloke entered into my house or something, you know, some thief. And um, I caught him. And I thought, it's a waste of time phoning the police in this dream. Um, they're just going to let him go. So I just hacked him to bits <laughs> and I buried him in the back garden. I thought, well, no one will know. He, he obviously hasn't said, oh, by the way, Mum, I'm popping out to burgle Mickey's house. I woke up from this dream and I thought, shit, <laughs> I've been Tommy for two. I was really enjoying killing this bloke. Because <laughs> Richard is a great director, I've got to say that. And... Um, Richard lets you go with the flow. Let me wipe away those tears from your eyes before you die. <laughs> I love poetry at school. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> a lot of people, whatever, had to leave the room because it was a bit too realistic because I'm covered in blood and I've just chopped a couple of people out and, you know, you're at full frenzy. <laughs> your boyfriend tastes good! <laughs> I remember him as a child, and I'm thinking, Oliver Tobias, the stud, you know, and I thought it's great. Michael Madsen with the original ear, um, chopping from Reservoir Dogs, and he gave me tips on how to chop someone's ear off, which is how many people can say that? That, 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 that I've got to say, that was a highlight. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. You're doing the ear cussing scene, aren't you? And I go, yeah. And um, he goes, hey, this is how I did it. I find it's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> and then later on, we met on set, where we, where we meet up on set, and he couldn't stop laughing for like 20 minutes. And he said, I'm so glad I met you as Michael because you're some type of freak, <laughs> you know? I see something funny laughing, boy. You, I, I don't understand, boss. Oh, you will. Like I say, no one's come this way. Shut up and stop lying! Roy, what's going on? You know, and 
Patrick Bergen, you know, and I overcome them, you know, little old me, I overpower those two <laughs> six foot plus actors <laughs> and little old Tommy overpowers them and he does away with them and the leading lady and um, Oliver Tobias and um, lovely little Marius, my little first kill, who was um, a boom operator as well. And um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I'm hoping, no matter what happens with the critics, where, you know, if it's mentioned anywhere, that they might mention, you know, the strangest, weirdest Elvis impersonation ever. And to be honest, I can't sing a note, and I've always been a big Elvis fan. <laughs> I'm just misunderstood. <laughs> 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 <laughs>